Have you ever tossed a question out into the universe, like half hoping just maybe you'll get an answer back? And what if I told you that the universe is actually listening, just waiting for you to ask the right question? Because you're not as alone as you might think. Hi, I'm Mel. I have spent a good chunk of my life, 35 years to be exact, untangling the first 18. And I'll tell you, it's been quite an adventure. And along the way, I've picked up some really cool insights about my mind, about the spirit, about thoughts, about the things that keep us up at night, right? Because I'm all about sharing the love and the lessons, hopefully. And I'm here to pass on the story to you. And who knows? Maybe you'll find exactly what you need in it as well. So there was a time when I felt totally lost and alone and clueless and absolutely unsure of what to do. And I'm sure that sounds familiar because, you know, it's normal. But there's this thing, I've always been a seeker. I've always been on like a hunt for some kind of guidance that would help me heal from the past and make me a happier, confident version of myself. But where on earth was this mystical advice supposed to come from, right? Not from my family. I had no idea because growing up, religion was this thing that we did in this big, scary Dutch reformed church on a Sunday. And the rest of the week, not so much. The rest of the week, just drama. So traditional ideas of God and religion didn't quite click for me. And it felt like there was something bigger out there, but what, right? And how was I supposed to tap into that? So I did what most lost souls would do under similar circumstances, and I, I turned to books. And slowly but surely, I started bumping into some of these ideas that have been around forever. But they were just wearing different outfits, right? So enter the superconscious mind. People explain the superconscious mind in a bunch of different ways. And um, I've linked some resources below if you're curious about wanting to explore more about that, right? But here is my version of events in plain English as I understand it. So life exists on three levels. It's kind of like a cosmic layer cake. And then there's the first level is the physical plane. So this is where we grow, we live, we experience our physical world. And it's the level where we eat and sleep and breathe and do all of the other cool things we do as humans. And when our time is up, here it ends. And so does our journey on that human plane. It's as simple as that. Then the mental plane, the second plane, that is where our thoughts live, our minds, our ego, and that little annoying voice that won't stop overthinking things in your head that one. So we all know that plane very well, you know? So it's like walking around with a flashlight in the dark and you can only see what's in the beam, right? Even though there's all of this stuff to see, all you can see is that. But here is where it gets interesting. Level three, the superconscious plane. Different people call this different things. They call it God, spirit, quantum energy, you name it. For me, I call it the life force, the kind of energy that just never runs out, right? It's like the cosmic Wi-Fi network that you don't even know that you're connected to until one day when you wake up and you realize, I have five bars. <laughs> I know, it's the best part, right? And the, and the cool thing is we can learn how to access this. I figured it out, slowly expanding my range of my flashlight over the years of practice. I was journaling, I was meditating, because it was huge for me. It allowed me to clear my mind and allow myself to receive these messages. And instead of constantly searching for them, right? But there is one thing I did, one practice that really changed the game for me. So let's say that you're at a crossroads. Ever been at one of those? You're totally torn between two choices and it is driving you insane. We've all been there, done that, and it isn't any fun. So you're fed up and you finally throw your hands up in the air and you say, okay, universe, I need some fucking help here. And that's where I was. 
just recently, just a few months back. So around July, I found myself at a major life crossroads, realizing that the next chapter of my life was all about transformation and I'm trying to figure out what to do. So picture this, I moved down here to Dunedin in 2022 and I crushed my goals. I had many of them. I got a job, I bought a house on my own and I healed my old wounds. It was tough work. And then I started my YouTube channel in 2023. Amazing. And my career did really well. My income increased by $70,000 in three years. And I don't think that's too shabby, right? But here's the kicker. It is not about the money for me. Yes, of course I need money to pay my mortgage, but that's not what it's about. It's about living fully. It's about living fearlessly for me. And I wanted to figure out how to give back. I have been asking for the best way that I can do that, that isn't harmful to me or to anybody else, right? So on July 31st, during my meditation, I had this thought hit me. It said, live as if. It said, live as if I'm loved, as if I'm powerful, as if I'm fearless. Live as if I am the giver. But I wasn't sure how to make this real, right? And then it clicked. I don't have to. I don't have to know the answers. I just need to let that intention out into the world with abundance and courage and love. And wouldn't you know it? The universe started dropping hints like it was breadcrumbs. Puzzle pieces started popping up everywhere in my life. Words in a magazine. A conversation with a friend where she described the analogy of being a puzzle. And then I read this book by Dr. Gladys McCary. Chapter three in her book, which I'm reading right now, and I'll do a video on it because it's amazing, but what is it called? Like pieces of a jigsaw puzzle. It was like the universe was telling me I'm piecing together these puzzles of my life. It was amazing. And you know what? It doesn't have to match the picture on the box. It just has to follow my passion. And that's when it hit me. Coaching is my passion. I like helping other people. That is what lights up for me. So I've decided to pursue a coaching certification with Gallup. And I'm trusting that it's the investment that is right for me right now and that'll pay off for me, right? But it is a huge investment. This course costs $10,000. So I wanted a bit of extra confirmation from the universe that this was in fact the right direction to go in. So I asked for another sign and just then, the universe sent me another sign. That very same day I asked the question, a friend in need reached out to me for guidance and I was able to help her. And the thing is, this friend has been avoiding me a little bit recently because things have been really tough for her. And she was sort of isolating herself. And I, I know what that's like. I'm always reaching out to her because I know she does this. But that day, she reached out to me twice. That was my signal. My path confirmed. And I know that I'm meant to be a coach, to help people, to see their strengths, and to contribute to a world where compassion and connection trumps competition. And I'm not just planning for the future here. I am turning this into a living feeling right now. I am living this right now, building my life one piece in the puzzle at a time and I've booked my course and I'll be going there in November. I've booked my flights and my accommodation. I'm committed. I know this is the right thing to do. So, okay, here is the part that really changed the game for me. And it's much simpler than you might think. So step one, figure out the right question. This is important and hold on to it. Like you are holding on to your favorite pen or something. And then you can meditate on it, you can journal about it. Just keep it in the back of your mind, okay? I personally, I like writing things down. So I write it down on a post-it note, I write it down on my whiteboard, I even write it on my bathroom mirror. And then step two, I send it out into the universe. Yeah, just like that. And I let it go and I think, all right universe, I need an answer to this. And by the way, I need it by Thursday whatever deadline you want to put on it. And then step three, 
here comes the tricky part. <laughs> You've got to be open to the signs. And I know, I know it sounds way too easy, but letting go and staying open, that is the hard part. It takes practice, like anything good and anything new. And yes, you might feel a bit stupid at first. Stick with it. Try it. What can you lose? That's it. You stand still and you wait for the signs to show up. But you must pay attention or you'll miss them. Okay? Like the puzzle pieces. So, if this clicks with you and you want to give it a try, that's your first step to tapping in to your superconscious mind. And it's not about getting it perfectly, right? It's about connecting to something bigger than you and remembering you are not alone. You've got this and so does the universe. You've got this and so does the universe. And thank you for hanging out with me today. I've got you too. If you're into this kind of stuff, let me know. Leave a comment for me. I, I really love the comments. They keep me going. Subscribe if you like. And um, I've linked some resources and some books that I have used to help me over the years. Um, and if you're curious, then dive deeper into those. Okay? And go ahead. Seek. And I'd love to hear what you think. So keep asking those big questions of life. And I'll catch you next time. Mm -hmm.